think I need to start leaving a 10 second gap at the beginning. Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of Ozark. We're on to episode 10 of season 4. So we've left the storyline pretty much now where Navarro somehow was bang on with what Wendy thought, how she'd read him. But Marty has gone and given him a way out of this because he said he needs to get his control back, but he can't do it from where he is. And he can't start issuing out orders on a mobile phone if they smuggle that in here, or you're going to have to have the entire prison on your side. So Marty has offered to go to Mexico and be, what's the word? Go between interim, but I, I I don't even know what the word is. This should be interesting. I'll be surprised if he doesn't get shot the minute he gets there. Right, I'm hoping a lot of this is based on that. Let's go. This is episode ten. And before I do, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you would. Uh, and we'll continue straight on. Nelson will protect you. Hmm. The priest. He will give you legitimacy. But the rest is up to you, Marty. That's not his persona. That's not his character. That isn't him we'll anymore. That is Marty. most of us. have to be ruthless. How? And if they don't respect you, they will join forces with a rival. To let you know that... that Javi Alessandro is dead... Javi Alessandro was a traitor. He was making a deal with the U.S. government. He was going to bring this cartel down. I wanted Navarro to win the cartel war. Who won the cartel war? Now I want him out of prison, so I'm going to get him out of prison. Don't question me. I'm going to need to meet with each of you individually to discuss your business in your territories. He is working through our foundation to get him removed. And once that happens, we can extradite him to a Mexican prison and then pay for his escape. What if Claire Shaw likes her profit margin so much she wants more? You prepared to grow illegal opium? Is that what you want your life to be? I'm not backing out. I'm not asking you to. You killed our last chance of getting out of here. It costs you nothing to help us. She went back full time to Polk County. Who the fuck is this dude? Just like Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> He'd been germinating. To be honest, right now I'm more interested in what you're not saying. In between the words. See, I had this fiance. I heard Ruth did business with Darlene Snell. Now, what do you know about that? Aren't you the bird, son? Uh-huh. Uh, Jonah. Is everything okay? You're Ruth's bookkeeper. I need to ask you a few questions. Do you have a warrant? Do I need one to ask you a question? You ever do any bookkeeping for Darlene Snell? Well, if you've been dragged into something, I can help you. Hey, you're a minor, we'll figure it out. Here we go, Ken. You lie to me. Everything all right? Just asking a few questions. I can see that. Yeah. You're I'm interrogating you know, you a minor? Really. Jonah and I were just about to go to lunch. Were we, Jonah? Goodbye. Back okay. off. You are sending twice as many trucks as you need north with product and then south with cash. I gotta take this. Um, uh, how are things going with the Shaw deal? Ruth wouldn't help, so I tipped off. Get this the new sheriff. What message? The one I sent by not answering your calls. Hmm. I watched a psychotic drug lord beat the shit out of your husband in my living room. I know. Mm -hmm. I don't think you would have grabbed onto my coattails if you didn't think I was going somewhere. And I guarantee you, Javi Alessandro will not be a problem anymore. And you know this how? He's dead. Because he's dead. All we need is the full power of our board of directors. Yeah. Schaefer, Markham, Bowlesby. This is the political side. Again, the whole point of anyone being in politics and the way that they handle things is exactly how she's doing it right now you come over as sure confident not too pushy um certain of the direction in which you're going in 
and convince others that unless they get on board the gravy train with you, they're going to miss it. She is very good at doing that. I got a tip. You about to make a big mistake. Oh, oh, you did? So you're in Wendy Bird's pocket now, <coughs> huh? What I'm telling you is Wendy's playing chess and you're playing fucking Candyland. I need you to give me a hand with something. For a price, of course. Yeah, of course. Only the local cops are on my ass. About what? I think the birds are fucking with me. And you want me to help fuck back. <laughs> Hello. You've You're got gaining anything some anything. cash flow discrepancies here. There's a, there's a few of them. I don't know how that could be. Someone dropped a decimal point on three shipments in a row. Oh, that's a lot of money. On purpose. Well, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. This is what's gonna happen. This is what your team. Freedom away from it all. And the rest of them lie down, the guy just walked away. It's so fast. It happens so fast. Wow. Jesus Christ. Um. Uh. Bad? What is bad? He's in a coma. Do they think he's gonna wake up? I don't know. He lost a lot of blood. Oh my god. Can I ask you about one of the lieutenants? Cabrera? You think he was behind this? I don't actually know. I've known Arturo since he was a child. He and Javi were friends, but he was always jealous of him. Javi once told me that if he ever became the cartel chief, he would get rid of Arturo for saying. No wonder he was quick to respond to his it's fucking mistake. Oh, the guy. Get this fucking thing off of me! Navarro knows that you were behind the attempt on his life, okay? Right. He said that. There's one way again, yeah, are you? You've been skimming money, you were jealous of Javi, and you don't know why Navarro chose him over you. Oh, it is. Done. It is. I didn't think it was. Why are they telling them? Well, from my country in Europe, that, that's more like an executive car. You would use that. What's going on? Wait, hey, 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 what the fuck, Ronnie? What are you doing out here? Where are you? Hmm? Open it up. Let's take a look. T-shirt. Yeah, are, are you really this naive books. that she wasn't on to this? You'd have to be a moron to do in plain sight. <clears throat> this is your switcheroo. He, he's just got a little bit Check of information from him. He's Please not donate. there. He's, he's on the end of the rope and he's pulling Help it in. Ben. Thank you. Yeah, they were supposed to get married, but apparently he had a bad gambling addiction, so she left him. I don't know what's wrong with him now. <laughs> I need you at the foundation event tonight. Charlotte, it's the Bird Family Foundation. I could really use some family there. Well, you should have thought about that before you forced Dad to go to Mexico. Poor fucker doesn't have a clue when he spawned. What do you want, Ruth? Your little plan with the sheriff didn't work, Wendy. The Shaw deal's done. So you need to get the fuck up out of my business. And he knows exactly what she did. Because he had it done to him. Twelve yeses. Um, Sorry, you're shouting there, then over that. But... Everyone needs to believe Chicken that everybody egg. else is tripping over themselves to get in line. We have one more crack at this. Okay. Okay, what? <sighs> I fuck with the looks. I just stopped burner. I thought I deserved it. I fuck with the books. Bolt. But I just gotta have him killed. No, I don't think he did. All right, give him some more. No, 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 okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, what? Come on! I did it. What did you do? Say it again. I ordered the hit! I don't know about this. I ordered the hit! <laughs> that was kind of childish. It was never gonna stop, was it? That wasn't gonna be the end of it. Oh man, I'm not I'm uncertain about this and so is he. Okay guys, episode 10. Um Have I read that right? Have I read it wrong? Am I half and half? Or are they purposely leaving it where we're not entirely certain? You saw Marty's face at the end there. I mean that guy must know. He must know. He's he's in with the cartel and has been in his whole life. You can't tell me he's not seen this happen God knows how many times with however many people. Whether the people that were part of the cartel or not. It's why the torture method can be effective, but it's not even 50-50. And I don't even know, what, you know, even if it's 80-20, I don't know which side it is. It depends on the circumstances. It depends on the person. It depends on who's dishing out the punishment, what it's about, how serious it is. It, it's... I have a feeling it's his mother. I really do. Because that would be the person with the strongest motive for a son being killed, hearing that it's Navarro that, that did it, that ordered it. And that guy must have known that all of that was going to happen in that basement until he eventually admitted that he was the one that was skimming the books. And that even if eventually he goes, okay, it was me, I ordered it, that they would stop, and then at some point, someone's going to walk in there and finish the job. So I'm not entirely certain. The biggest issue is Navarro. That that happened so quickly that where he was shift four or five times. So he's in a coma. March is currently playing the boss. And has now got no backup from the boss. No one can know. Where the hell is this going to leave him? I mean, I, I don't know. Meanwhile, Ruth is being her usual Ruth herself because she has to be. And Wendy is playing at the same game, but she is kind of on the losing side right now. She's tried to bring Jim back into it. And he's telling her now that they've got one last chance because Shaw has just pulled everything. Because you tried to screw with the sheriff to screw Ruth. That's backfired on you this time. And the sheriff was kind of... Because he's a local boy as well and he obviously knows Ruth. There's obviously history there as well. He's, he's, I think he's possibly purposely, no one's that stupid. He's possibly purposely allowed Ruth to know that they're watching and they're tailing. To be more, slightly more onto Ruth's side than he would be as Wendy. Because Wendy's an outsider. She came in laying down the law with him. So he's playing like the middle man going, well, if you're gonna if you're gonna play that and you're gonna play off each other, I'm gonna pick a side and I wanna remain sure if he said that. Maybe he, you know, because that was really obvious that she was being tailed. And if you know you're being tailed and you need to move an entire shipment of heroin, you do exactly what she's done. Go to somebody else, go to Frank and go, you need to help me move this shit. Well, I make them think it's me doing it and all I'm doing is got a van full of his stuff there's a lot going on and this show throws enough into the mix and enough curveballs for you to be not quite sure so i'll leave it there and find out in the next episode um if you want to watch the full length one because that was about 65 minutes long you can do over on patreon just check the link in the description as always we don't have many left we have episodes 11 12 13 and 14 until all this is done so probably about four hours for all of this to either go completely shit to the wall or somehow for it to all work out so why not join me if you uh enjoying episodes of ozark while you're at it give the video 
uh, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down here. I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you for episode 11 next. Take care. Don't.